Well, hey, good morning, boat friends. It's January in Duluth, Minnesota. Now, this is what winter should look like when we are doing some ship watching in Duluth, don't you think? I hope everybody's doing great. Look at the snow on the ground. We had about three inches or so overnight here in Duluth. There's our friend, the aerial lift bridge. I got a treat for you today. Not only are we going to go walking around in the snow and down by the bridge, just make sure that you put your boots on so you can keep your feet warm with me. So we are going to go down checking out the snow. We have been talking about snow in Duluth for so long, and now it's finally here. So that's definitely a good thing. I hope everybody is doing good, all the boat friends around the world. Paul R. Tagurtha, the largest ship on the Great Lakes, is going to be going right by us. We affectionately know it as the PRT. It will be going right by us, going outbound to Lake Superior. That's a thousand footer, the American Century, that's sitting there at anchor. A little bit overcast, as you can see, we have light snow still coming down in Duluth. This is going to be a really fun video. So the way that I'll set this up for you, if you want to fast forward to the ship, no problem. That's going to be a while. But if you want to kick back, walk around in some snow here in Duluth and just relax on a Saturday, that's what it's all about right here today, my friends. So let me first start you out real quick. And we'll get chatting here in one moment. I just want to tee everything up for you. This is the ship that you will be seeing going by you in a few minutes. 1,013 feet in length. Polar to Gertha. It's right now in the Duluth Harbor Basin, right on the edge here of Rice's Point. You can see it, it's gonna go right by us here at the Duluth Area Lift Bridge out onto Lake Superior. It was loading over here at CN Dock. And I was up at, just after five in the morning, you can see the Mark W. Barkers over at Fraser Shipyards. I got an awesome video for that. So your buddy Mike had some coffee early this morning to make sure that we have an awesome video that is coming. And uh, I'll let you know when that does get released, but I promise you, you are going to love that one. And there was actually a boat friend that met me out there. His name was Bill. All of a sudden, I saw a car in the parking lot. I was like, wow, someone's up early. And it was a boat friend, Bill, that wanted to come down and say hi. So that was really cool. Uh, he's from Sparta, Wisconsin. So hope Bill is doing good. He was going to actually go to check out the, the Arthur Anderson in Two Harbors today. But here's what's up. We've been talking about snow and real winter here in Duluth. Well, guess what? You got it today. We are going to be able to see the largest ship, as I mentioned as well. So this is going to be really fun. So all the boat friends, I see Ram Tuff is on there, Tursa, Chuck. Nana's on there. How are you? Andreas, there in the country of Austria. Doug, how are you, my friend? Ron, John, how are you? What do you think all this snow? Now, the problem is, is this isn't the right type of snow to make those snowmen because I was going to make a boat friend snowman and uh, I will get that done at some point before the winter is over. So how's everybody doing? What's the weather like for you? Where are you at? Let's start out with the city you are in and what is your temperature? 30 degrees here in Duluth, Minnesota, light snow. It's actually pretty nice, not too bad. I will take anything above zero, my friends. Hey, Maddie, how are you? And Egan, Cheryl, how are you? David, I hope you are doing great. It's been a little while since we came out and uh, did a live stream together. And if you probably saw that video that I posted yesterday, the green gate right over there, that is closed. It's also closed over on the South Pier as well. You can see it straight over there. And notice the ice that's in the canal. So we're going to get down. Let's first observe what's going on. Wes, how are you? There's Paul in Chicago. Mike in Kenyon, Minnesota. Pam, how are you? Yeah, there looks like a, quite a few people got some. Uh, Petra there in Germany, how are you? Nice to see you. Maria. Don, all the boat friends, I am watching my step. I got those good boots on right now. Let me give you just a quick shot of what's going on. I'll do a slow pan. We've been seeing green grass all the way through December. You see all that white stuff? That's what we should have been seeing. And I've been promising you, we are going to get a snow ship video. We have one right now. 
the one that I'm really waiting for, so let's cross our fingers on this one. I'm waiting for that blizzard that comes through Duluth where a ship is going to be going outbound. We have a few weeks and the weather has turned here in Duluth, so we might be able to get that. But yeah, we got hundreds of people in here watching the live stream. And to those that have never watched this channel before, what Vibe with Mike is, is a channel where we follow the ships here in Duluth, Minnesota. We watch them go under this aerial lift bridge. It's connected right here to Lake Superior, one of the five great lakes. And we have a community called the Boat Friends that we have built over the last year or so. And it's a group of people that love watching ships. And we talk about life. We really have developed friendships. So if you're looking for a friendship type of community where people are very positive and there's always something fun to do, this is the channel for you. And join the boat, friend. So if you want, hit subscribe now or watch the video. Feel it out. See what we're all about. No problem at all. And those that are watching the live stream right now, we have over 500 watching live. If you can, hit that like button that will help that'll pull more boat friends in that love the ships like us into this channel onto this live stream and you know i'll tell you this story of when i met bill this morning so again he comes up to me and we're talking and uh it's just people are so good that are part of this community they just you know here's the thing for him it's kind of funny you know he has his family at the hotel he's up here and he found any excuse to come down to go check out a ship coming through. So that's kind of how I was years ago before I actually uh, moved up here. I would come to a hotel and I would come up with any excuse to actually go down and check out a ship or the lift bridge. So I love it here. I mean, really, my heart is here. I've told you before, there are places that you can travel. And, you know, I know it's cold in Duluth, but... It must, it must be something with that aerial lift bridge and those ships. I don't know. My heart, it's here. Well, let me show you what we got going on. Take a look at these ice sheets. When's the last time that we saw this together? Let me zoom in a little bit. Let me give you a live look at what's going on. We got snow. We got ice. And guess what? Right on cue, we got the aerial lift bridge that is going to be heading up to 135 feet. Mr. Cotter's on there, Debbie, how are you, Connie, <coughs> I know Deb was on there earlier, but take a look at this, Andrew, how are you, Andrew's there in Naples, Florida, and we don't even need to see the temperature, Andrew, we know that you're in the 70s for sure, Brad, how are you, Randy, nice seeing you on here, all the boat friends, I have some really cool videos that will be coming, and photos from around the world from the boat friends that have been sending it in. So we're going to be able to have some cool experiences. I'll give you a shot real quick before the PRT comes through. Again, those that are joining right now, we have the largest ship on the Great Lakes, the Polar Tagurtha, will be departing right by us, just a matter of feet away, going under the aerial lift bridge. So get ready. We're going to have a treat, have some fun. Make sure you have your boots on as we walk around out here. Because believe me, your feet will get cold. And we can watch the aerial lift bridge going up. So what's everybody going to be doing this weekend? Are you down to do some more ship watching with me? I'll be keeping my eye on what's going on with the ships. You down for another couple live streams? Because I'll get out here with you. Yeah, I was up this morning. I was right here at the pier. Actually, if you rewind the canal cam after this, after this live stream, you can see me down here at about 5.50 a.m prepping for the Mark W. Barker that came through. And you know how I do the things, drawing in the, in the uh, snow. Wait till you see what I, what I, I'll just leave it. Let, let's just leave it at that. I got a surprise for you on that one. Oh, I am Valentina, how, $5 donation. Really appreciate you. Thank you so much. I promise you I will go and get a cup of hot chocolate after this. And here you go. We have our first view of the PRT. You can see that bow. We can see the ice. And this is, this is what I told you before. We've been waiting for this type of video. When you think of Minnesota, you think of the cold, you think of the ice. It has been grass and nice weather 
all through December. So kind of a disappointment for us that love ship watching with the cold weather and all those elements that come with it. But guess what? We have them today. Like I said, we're walking around in those boots, kicking around that snow. I see a few more people are starting to gather. Victoria, how are you? Nice seeing you. Yes, that's one thing that uh, Bill is on there too. How are you? So Victoria brought up the Sioux locks will be closing on January 15th. So that is true. The shipping season will come to an end on January 15th, and that'll be that way until the very end of March. They close those Sioux locks so they can do some maintenance for the season. So that's, we only got a few weeks left for some ship watching, and guess what? We are going to do a good job with that finale here over the next couple weeks. We'll start with this one. It's a Saturday, watching the PRT with some light snow coming down here, again in Duluth, Minnesota. Got that bridge all the way up. Anybody have any plans? What do you got going on this weekend? Anything fun? I am Valentina said when uh, when they were in uh, Minnesota, they lived here, negative 43 Fahrenheit temperature. Yeah, that's cold. Chuck, how are you? Chuck just mentioned the Tug Missouri was doing some helping and he let me know about that earlier as well. So thank you for that, Chuck. I know Chuck is out there in Columbus. I'm sure you, I don't, I don't think you have that bad of weather out there, do you, Chuck, there in Ohio? Brad, you will be watching the Vikings game tomorrow. Yeah. Well, we'll have to see how that goes. Now, the crazy thing is if you are a Vikings fan, you know, there's a lot of people in Minnesota that are still on the bandwagon hoping the team will win. We still have a shot to get in. I think we obviously have to win, and then there's a couple more things that got to happen with the teams. But uh, I'll be watching that. I just saw Pamela. How are you? Great seeing Pamela G is in there. One of the most famous people out there on YouTube when it comes to the mods on channels. So really nice seeing Pamela out there. Bill Peterson, really appreciate you, brother. Just threw a $10 donation out here. I promise you I will get even more. I'll get a double or a triple espresso and I'll do a, a hot chocolate too. So I got to keep that energy going to help everybody out. Look at Daryl, $20 donation. He says, happy new year, Mike. Always enjoy your videos. Well, you know what? I appreciate you watching. And that's something that I am truly passionate about, which you know is these ships, but I'm equally as passionate about this community and the friendships that all of us have been making together over the, the last year. And I have a question for you. So going into the off season, I've been kind of going back and forth. I mean, obviously I think it would be fun when the, the blizzards and the big snow events happen here in Duluth. I'm gonna go live for you because it is fun watching that. You kick back, relax, I'll throw those boots on. But what are you thinking? Give me some other ideas, what you wanna do in the off season. Do you want me to kind of creep around Duluth and show you different things going on? Or do you want me to stay by the lift bridge? Is, is there anything that you've wanted to see in the area that maybe I could show you that, uh, you know, obviously we'll still talk about ships and everything, but I want you to enjoy the off season as well. So I do have plenty of ship videos that I will be uploading. I have plenty of them that will cover the off season, but what are you thinking for some live streams? Do you want me to go into the city of Duluth? Do you want me to just stay down here by the pier? What are you thinking? Give me some ideas. So whether you do it here on the live stream comment, or comments if you've just watched this video and the live stream is over, give me some ideas. What do you want to see in the off season? Don, Pam, how are you? Sky is on there. How you doing, Sky? I see Lynn. Paul is saying he's going to be doing some ice fishing. SI6, how you doing, my friend? Exchanging emails with him. Great person. Scott, how are you, my friend? Rita's on there. Let me show you more of this ice. We've been waiting for the ice. You know, it almost looks like you could just stand on one of those, like mini islands. Check that out. So when you think of Minnesota and you think of Duluth, that's what you're thinking about. Let me steady the shot for you so we can take a look at, I'm going to let you do a little bit of people watching. Let me zoom in just a little bit so you can see the PRT. Again, those that are just joining, I mean, we have getting close to a thousand people that are watching live right now. So... If you can, hit the like button if you're watching. So we just crossed over 900 people that are watching live, and you are in for a treat. Yes, you are looking at plenty of snow here in Duluth, Minnesota. 
real close to the Canadian border. So we got plenty of snow if you're interested in that. But we did not have that much snow about a week or so ago. I mean, I actually saw someone on Christmas in a convertible driving with the top down. So that, that doesn't happen too often. Great question, Cheryl. Cheryl asks, where's the PRT going? So the PRT loaded iron ore pellets, AKA taconite over at CN Dock, and it's on its way to Indiana Harbor to offload. And so we are still waiting to try to determine who, what other ships will be coming in for winter layup. So Daryl, you're asking, would it be possible to tour and interview with the lift bridge operator? You know, I get that question quite a bit. And the thing is, is because I'm a YouTuber, think about it. If the, U, if the lift bridge operator allowed me to do a tour and an interview, then every YouTuber would want to do it. And that's a city employee. So unfortunately, I don't think that's going to happen, but you just, I guess, never say never, right? Let me give you a quick 360 before we get back to the action. Again, that's a thousand footer, the American Century. Take a look at the snow and the ice that's on the lighthouse there on the South Pier on the right. Green gate is closed. This is feeling like a real winter ship video. And I wanted to do an extended version and come out here. Take a look at this. You see some snow coming down, the lift bridge operator. I have that in a video from this morning too. Let's see if they do it again. They have a, they have a shovel and they just shovel off right off the edge of the walk there. So big pile of snow comes down. And to those that are unfamiliar with the area lift bridge, so now we're over a thousand viewers. You are in Duluth, Minnesota. You're looking at the aerial lift bridge at the bottom of the screen. That's the largest vessel on the Great Lakes. All five Great Lakes, that's the biggest ship you are going to see. Right there in the middle portion of the bridge is that little operation center. There's an individual that is controlling this bridge and making sure that there's no issues with the vehicle traffic on both sides. You have the main city of Duluth right over here on this side. Canal Park is what they call it. The aerial lift bridge, when it is down, connects to another portion of Duluth, which is called Park Point, which is an island now. So plenty of things going on. If you are in Duluth, got a really nice beach out here. Goes for uh, seven miles. You know what I'm going to do? I'm, oh, there's some more snow coming down. I just saw that see right there let me let me go up here I want to get a better elevated position and I'll tell you why because we're still going to be able to see the ship really well but we do a little bit of people watching so we like watching what everybody's doing in a fun way check it out Scott, how are you? So American Century, Scott just asked about the American Century, that thousand footer that we see right over here. It's hard not to look at that ice going through the canal, how cool that is. See the American Century right there? Scott was asking about that. The American Century dropped anchor right there outside of the piers, and it's waiting to load in two harbors. So it's going to be moving up to two harbors. And here's a little bit of the PRT. Believe me, it does not look that large as you look at it right now on this live stream. But believe me, when it goes by, it's a thousand thirteen and a half feet long. It's enormous. You think of the largest downtown skyscraper. You put this up. Well, there's actually there's aerial lift bridge operator right there. There you go. Making an appearance. I told you they walk around with that shovel. And then you'll see a good amount of snow that will come down. So let's keep our eye on the, the operator for a moment. Actually, you can just watch them up on that. There, there comes down that snow, I told you. So there you go. Very rare appearance by the lift bridge operator. That's awesome. Tom Lee, thank you so much for the $5 donation. He says a thousand viewers, a thousand thumbs up. So Tom is saying to all of you, hey, we got Almost 1,200 people in here watching live the action here in Duluth, Minnesota. If you like what you're seeing, if you like the snow, and if you like the largest ship on the Great Lakes, definitely hit a thumbs up as we're watching live. And even if you're watching after this post, 
maybe later today or tomorrow, whenever, hit that like button if you enjoy what you are seeing. What do you think? I'm going to give you, the viewers, the option. Should we stay up here or do, should we go right down along the wall on the canal here? Just say canal or just say canal or hill. Hill means up and the canal means we're going to go right down next to the water. Yep, I figured everybody was going to say that. We're going down. Let's do it the right way. Now here's this beast coming right at us, and this is going to be fun now. This is what it's all about. Take a look at the ice. Take a look at the... Look at that bow coming right at us. I always give you that canal wall so you can do a little people watching. What a beautiful ship. Now, believe me, I'm going to zoom in as this gets closer. Look at all that ice. That's awesome. Now, so let me give you some facts. Those that are watching, Patrick, how are you there in Ireland? I hope you're doing great. Yeah, a lot, a lot of ice. Pamela, nice seeing you as well. Just want you to know that. Polar Tegurtha, as I mentioned, 1,013 and a half feet in length, built in 1981. It's also known as the Queen of the Great Lakes. 1,500 horsepower bow thruster, 36 hatches, five holds, two controllable pitch propellers, two rudders, two diesel engines that are combined pushing out about 16,000 horsepower total. Straight up beast of the Great Lakes. We all know that this is a beast of a ship. Look at this. Now let me start zooming in. This is what the action is all about. Again, those that are joining, you are watching live the Polar Tegurtha, 1,013 feet, the largest ship on the Great Lakes, going through the Duluth Ship Canal under the aerial lift bridge that is all the way up 135 feet. And it's going through some ice right through the canal. Look at this beast. And one thing I want to point out is what you see that is coming out, that's plumes of steam. There's a scrubber system on board. So those diesel engines that I talked about, it goes through a scrubbing process to eliminate most of that harmful exhaust. And that was the aerial lift bridge that you just heard, returning the salute from the PRT. You got a little bit of the sun looking in the center portion of the screen, trying to make an appearance. Light snow is coming down. And take a look at this ice. L little chunks of ice compared to this ship. No match for this enormous ship. Look at this boat, friends. You know, it gets no better and it gets no bigger. Right on the deck, this is... The boom, you can see that, and that is the superstructure of the vessel that sits on the stern, and you see those five windows, those larger windows, that's actually guest quarters for a special guest, almost like a hotel room that's in there. But take a look at this. Now let me give you one sweep here so you can really see how enormous this is. You know, you seriously could hit a baseball with the bat a few times. Wherever it lands, you have to hit it again. Let's take a look at the radar. Look at that steam that is blasting out of the stacks there. You got some crew members on deck. And you know what's cool about this is that they might have maybe one last trip before all of these crew members get to take some time off now look at this beast going through the canal. Take a look at the prop wash. 
Some legit volatility there, followed by the ice. Let me give you some of that steam as well. Well, boat friends, I am going to be out here the rest of the weekend and through the shipping season until it ends. And we will be live streaming doing this again. I'll be doing some uploads too. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button on the way out. If you're watching this live or later, and please subscribe. If you've been watching these videos or if you want to watch them in the future, hit subscribe. It costs you nothing. Be a part of this boat friend community. We want to have you come back. So make it official. Hit the subscribe button today. And there you go. Boat friends, the PRT on a Saturday. Gets no better than that, right? We wish the captain and the crew a safe voyage out to Indiana Harbor. And I'm going to keep my eye out for the next ship. Thank you so much, boat friends. Be ready to join live later today. Take care. And I'm going to go get myself a couple hot chocolates right now. <laughs>